And once it's got rid of its bubbles at the top, it falls back down. And this sort of bubble lava lamp, this will keep going for about half an hour. Um, it's very therapeutic to watch. But this pattern of less dense things floating and more dense things sinking happens in lots and lots of places. And one of those places resulted in a huge tragedy. So the Titanic um, in the North Atlantic when it sank in 1912 was a vast ship and it was floating. The whole thing was floating because overall it was less dense than the water. It was like one of these little raisins up at the surface while it was coated in bubbles. It was safe because it was floating. And along the bottom of the Titanic, underneath, there were bulkheads, um, spa air-filled spaces that were full of air, just like the bubbles on the raisins here. And they were keeping the ship less dense than the water. And when the Titanic struck the iceberg, it basically popped those air-filled spaces so water could get in. And just like the raisins here, losing their bubbles, the Titanic then became more dense than the water around it, and it sank to the bottom of the ocean. And it just so happens that if you look at the length of an average raisin and the depth of the lemonade bottle here, the size of this raisin relative to that depth is about the size of the Titanic relative to the depth of the water she sank in. So just like the raisins here, losing their bubbles, losing their buoyancy, becoming less dense, the Titanic drifted all the way down to the bottom of the ocean.